Hello everybody, this is Joe Bean Videos on the Jimmy Master Animatronics and this is a video of uh, the Jimmy Halloween Animated Boney Barney. Um, this is actually the first model that was made. There's two different models if you don't know. Like, when I say two, two different models, there's ones with different sayings. The, this model was sold at Target in 2007, then it was sold at Menards in 2008 and 2009, and they had Target had a different version with different say It looks exactly the same. The Sains were changed in the Target version in 2008 and 2009. I got this at a rummage sale today for only $4, which is a great find because on eBay, they're all $80 and all that, and it's just ridiculous. Um, now, I have been struggling to get his legs working. If you, I, I have some clips when I first got it that I'll throw in the end of the, this video. It was buzzing. The gear was split, obviously. Uh, I, when I put it back together, um, the belt was, you know, the belt wasn't very good. It was just buzzing still. I changed the belt and it seemed like it was too tight, so I put another belt in it. The legs still don't move. Like he's supposed to lunge forward a bit, but he doesn't. I think the spring force in it is weak because if you look, he slips down. And this is a very, very faulty um, animatron or animated item, a Jimmy item. Oh, Bailey's on the call with me too. Like I said, the legs on these are very faulty and hardly ever work. It, um, most of the videos I've seen, the legs don't even work in general. Like they'll they'll go up and they'll slide right back down. And I don't it's I don't think it's supposed to be that loose. Like the the mechanism should be fine. It's there's a spring in its body right here that pulls its legs back. It goes down, but it doesn't jump back up because it doesn't have the strength, which is weird. So I think the spring is worn down, which is stupid. Why would they put a spring to pull a, bo a heavy body like this up? That is so stupid. It's a tiny, thin spring. Like, what the hell do you expect to happen? Like, so that's why the legs on these are so faulty, if you guys are wondering why they never work. That's why, because they use the crappy spring that wears down after five minutes of use it's dumb it's sound and motion activated oh also as i was fixing this thing i i kid you not i had 15 wires come off like not the, not 15 different wires like the same wires kept coming off the battery compartment ones and the speaker ones the the wire the wires for the switch even tore like this is one of those items that you cannot fix without wires pulling off just like this singing fish every time i fix a singing fish i fish i get three wires pulled off by just Look, like, you don't even have to, like, yank on the wires. All you have to do is just wiggle them, and they'll f they'll come right off. This right here is the battery compartment, and I don't know which year this one is, but the switch is on the side right here. There's the try me button that was installed for so you could try it in the packaging, and there's the sound sensor. Um, so I'm going to turn it on and show it to you now. There's also the there's a spring in the tail. Oh, it's and it's it was one of those situations where like I when I found it I didn't know what version it was it had batteries in it and I didn't want to test it because it's like that G G GMA video I made like it the, I, this thing's loud so that would have been really embarrassing and the speakers right there you can see it's got a big magnetic speaker um so like when I went up to the lady with it she said did you know that it makes did you know that it makes noise and it goes on motion I said yeah I collect these <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I'll turn it on now. Oh, Jesus. It, this switch is in a really weird spot. It's... See, it slipped down. The mouth on these tend to be faulty sometimes too. There was one of the Target versions where the mouth would stick when its head looked to one side. Also, this one I call just to to give them names because I don't think I think both models are called bon, Bony Barney and they didn't give them different names even though they had have different sayings. I call this one the scary version and the other one the silly version because the other one the sayings aren't is like. Uh, I don't know, it's more, it seems like the bone sound or something, the hip bones connect to the, I don't know, I don't know how the sound goes, but it says things like, um, can you throw me a bone here and I'm thirsty while it goes right through me. Let's just say the personality is much different on the two versions, so yeah.
like I said, I hope to get the legs working sometime, but I don't think, I don't know, I, it, it might not even be worth it, though, because, I don't know. It's just very faulty. I think it bends down too far. I think that's the problem. I bet you that's the problem. I bet it bends down too far. I bet it's not supposed to bend down that far. I don't know. Maybe someone else knows, but I don't. I don't. I wouldn't expect this thing to be able to lift itself up. That's just way too hard. Yeah, there's no, uh, yeah, there's something messed up in his legs. It is cool to find one, finally have one of these in the collection though. I mean, I don't know if they're necessarily hard to find. I, I would assume this one's the more common version of the two, but I, I don't know. not even moving for it to do that it's just the heavy weight of the body and it's like I said I would not even expect this thing to be able to lift itself so there's definitely yeah I don't know what they were thinking when they designed that like the mechanism itself is a good design but having a little spring like that to pull the body is just no that was dumb <laughs> um, but other than that I think that's it for this video um, if the legs ever do get fixed I'll make a, another video but until then that's it Hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching and bye. Okay, I'm gonna see if this dog works. Yep. <laughs>